city of Dubrovnik! Yes, welcome to one of the most preserved medieval towns until now, the former Republic, the city behind Game of Thrones' popular King's Landing and the city known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, named by Lord Byron himself on his grand tour, the city of Dubrovnik. The city is relatively small, it has around 42,000 people. With wonderfully preserved old town and gorgeous blue beaches, Dubrovnik is perfect choice for every type of traveler. I've been to Dubrovnik many times and each time I discovered something unique. The city seems to be small, so don't worry if your stay is only 2 or 10 plus days. Either way, there is plenty of unique places and attractions to visit. We started our 10-day Dubrovnik visit with a grand seafront breakfast in Gradska Kavana Arsenal. Gradska Kavana, or in English, City Cafe, is overlooking famous Dubrovnik Marina, right in the middle of the old town. You simply cannot find a better breakfast place with a better view, an over-the-top service and exceptional food. They even had gluten-free options for me. We will definitely be back next time. No visit to Dubrovnik is complete without a walk around the spectacular walls of Dubrovnik that are surrounding its historic core. They're among the finest in the world and are the city's defining feature. Despite that, this year we skipped our visit to the wall, mainly because of the August heat and crazy temperatures. And also because Yanni and I climbed a majestic wall about six years ago. Even so, do not skip the Grand Walls of Dubrovnik if you're visiting for the first time. Skipping majestic Dubrovnik Wall is one thing, but there is one thing I could never skip when in Dubrovnik. I'm taking you to probably my favorite place in Dubrovnik, Lokrum Island. A special forestry reserve under UNESCO protection. Lokrum Island is located 10 minutes off the shore of Dubrovnik. Hey! When you land on the island, there is a huge map that shows all of the points of interest on the island. If you have time, explore them all. I will point out a couple of my favorite things to do in Lokrum. First one is swimming in the Dead Sea. Dead Sea, or how Croatians call it Mrtvo More, was created over millions of years. It is basically a pond formed by centuries of storms and a specific formation of the island's rocky shoreline. Right next to it is a small cafe where you can get a small refreshment while you're enjoying the view. Second one is the rocks. Lokrum is composed of limestone and dolomite rocks which were deposited around 85 million years ago. Who knew rocks could be so beautiful? This year we spent hours at the rocks, swimming, sunbathing and enjoying the Adriatic sea view. Right around the corner is this special cave you do not want to miss. It is actually a former cave. Long time ago the roof of the cave fell down and formed this super cool formation. The place you simply want to visit and maybe, in my case, take a few Instagram photos. Third one. Walk around the old monastery grounds and Lokrum's beautiful botanical garden. The name Lokrum came from the Latin acrumen, meaning sour fruit. There are around 800 exotic plants in the garden from various parts of the world. Fourth, greet peacocks and turtles. Originally brought over from the Canary Islands by Maximilian, peacocks are now the only residing inhabitants of Lokrum Island. The peacocks love the attention and we'll put on a show for you. 
just wait and see. Turtles, on the other hand, are a bit shy, but since they're one of my favorite animals, I really enjoyed their presence. If you have a couple of extra days like we did, explore gorgeous Dubrovnik surroundings. One of the places we really enjoyed visiting is Trsteno Arboretum. Welcome to beautiful Trsteno Arboretum garden. Trsteno is the oldest arboretum in the world and the oldest renaissance park in Croatia. It is located around 18 kilometers from Dubrovnik. Ivan Gucetic started the trend at his Trsteno estate in 1494 and his descendants maintained the garden throughout the centuries. The garden has a renaissance layout with a set of geometric shapes formed with plants such as lavender, rosemary and fuchsia, while citrus trees perfume the garden. watched Game of Thrones, this might look familiar. Wow! If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you might recognize it as it was used as the setting of the Red Keep Palace Garden. One of the most attractive places in Tristeno Arboretum is the Fountain of Neptune with two nymphs. A new visitor center slash cafe is almost finished. So if you're watching this video in 2022 or later, the center might be already open. If not, do not forget to take water bottle with you, you might get thirsty. Another beautiful Dubrovnik surrounding place is town Tsaftat. Tsaftat is the most southerly Croatian resort, only 22 kilometers from border with Montenegro. It is a small scenic town with many old churches and a great place to base yourself if you'd like to enjoy Dubrovnik and its surroundings, but avoiding the crowd. I was so happy when I discovered a gluten-free pizza place in Tsaftat. Small things matter. Another place close to Dubrovnik I would like to point out is the lovely Mlini village. It is just a few minute ride from Dubrovnik. It is also a place where we started one of our great summer boat reunions with my girlfriends and former dancing buddies from Zagreb, Nina and Maya. Nina, who moved to Dubrovnik some years ago, is part of Capoeira group in Dubrovnik, who just at the time of our visit planned their annual small party boat cruise around Dubrovnik. We absolutely and gladly joined the party. It was probably one of the coolest and unique party boat rides ever, overlooking gorgeous Dubrovnik old town and surroundings and enjoying my girlfriends who I haven't seen for about six years or more. We took a couple of swim breaks. Before we sailed to the nearby Loput Island. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to explore the island, but I highly recommend to visit it if you ever get a chance. Capoeira group impressed us with their moves at the deck of Loput shortly before we headed back to the city. The only thing better than a good old reunion is a reunion with a splendid view. With so many things to do in Dubrovnik, there is nothing better than heading down to the beach and taking a dip into a crystal clear Adriatic Sea. 
There are many beautiful beaches around Dubrovnik, but here are the few ones we visited during our last stay. Copacabana Beach is a long stretch of Pebble Beach located in Babin Cook area. It is one of the most beloved family summer destinations because it offers various water activities, like kayaks, banana boats and jet skis. It's also easy to grab a bite when you're on this beach. What we personally enjoyed about it is that it's super long, so you can easily get away from the crowd and enjoy a bit quieter parts of the beach, overlooking the famous Dubrovnik Bridge and enjoying your own time. From there you can easily walk around the whole Bobbin Cook district and enjoy its amazing views. Sveti Yakov or St. Yakov's Beach is one of my favorites. The beach is a total hidden treasure. It is located a little bit outside of the city center, so you can either take a 20 minute walk or come with a car and park just above the beach. There's a long staircase down to the beach, but it's totally worth the walk. The beach is usually way less crowded and it's made out of a natural sand and soft pebbles. One thing that makes this beach so unique is the old town view. The beach has a lovely bar from where you can enjoy while you sip a cocktail or eat a snack. Here comes my favorite, Pasiacha Beach, one of the most gorgeous beaches here in the Dubrovnik area. Pasiacha Beach is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful beaches in Croatia. It is one of the best kept secrets in relation to the beaches of the region. It was my first time visiting Pasiacha Beach and even though I've seen many photos of the place, it was even more beautiful live. To enjoy this paradise, you do have to make an effort. It took about 30 minute drive from Dubrovnik to get there. Once you get there, it is reachable by very steep but photogenic stairs. For this reason, access is difficult for elderly, disabled and families with small children. One more important thing. There are no bars, no restaurants or any kind of shops nearby. Therefore, we took our own food and lots of water. Like, lots of water. In overall, Pasiacha Beach is simply amazing. It's one of those places that feel like it's taken out of a movie about paradise. The water is crystal clear and some locals told us that if you ever find yourself there at night, you can actually see glowing planktons in the sea. From now on, every time I visit Dubrovnik, Pasiac is definitely on my to-do list. My godparents are from Dubrovnik. So I've pretty much spent every summer in Dubrovnik during my childhood in the 90s. My godparents are the main reason why I love coming back to this gorgeous place. Since summer is the biggest tourist season in Dubrovnik and despite pandemic, 2021 was one of the most crowded seasons ever. The reason for it was overcrowded and unexpected tourism and too less staff considering the situation. Since my godparents both work in tourism, it wasn't so easy to match our schedules, but we did manage to meet them a couple of times. One evening we took them for a nice dinner in restaurant Poklisar. The view, the service and the food was simply perfect. After dinner we took a walk around the old town where Kum and Kuma, or godmother and godfather in English, told us some interesting stories about their Dubrovnik times from their early relationship. It was really lovely. And the 
another place you do not want to miss when in Dubrovnik. Even if staying for just a day, you have to visit Mount Serge. It is the best place to enjoy stunning views of the iconic old town, expansive coastline and beautiful distant mountains. The question is, do you want to hike to the top, take a car ride or take a ride with Dubrovnik cable car? Since we had my parents' car with us, we decided to take a car ride, but if we would have been without a car, we would definitely choose cable cars. Coming to Surge Mountain at daytime is lovely, but coming for sunset is absolutely spectacular. If you have time, grab a snack in a restaurant on the top of the hill or visit the Homeland War Museum. visited Dubrovnik many times, but this one is probably my favorite visit ever. I've managed to visit my godparents first time during pandemic. Reunited with my good friends I haven't seen for years. Revisited some of our favorite spots and found some new hidden gems in Dubrovnik surroundings. The thing is, each time I visit, I get surprised how gorgeous Dubrovnik is. Each time I walk the main street of Dubrovnik Stradun or swim in amazing Sveti Yakov beach, each time I feel endless joy and happiness. Dubrovnik is one of those places where you have to stop every few steps because there is something spectacular in every corner. Love you Dubrovnik and always will. Until next time.